Oh, you're what? good. Start? Yeah. What? Wait a minute, hold on. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is episode 10? 10, 10, episode 10 of the Schizo and Grimaldi Show. We're still talking about how many episodes we have. Yeah, just, I mean... We almost have a whole season. Hey, you know what? If we eventually have enough to be like 100 episodes, we're going to still tell people. It's just going to be awesome. And we'll challenge them to do math. We'll be like, today we have 72 episodes plus 22 episodes. How many episodes do we have, Timmy? And when Timmy doesn't know, we cast you. Today we have three plus three plus... Make that yeah. <laughs> we got a number six. Plus right. four more. So... If you can do all that math, you know what episode we're on. But he told you earlier, so all you had to do was get the listen. Tell him about who you are. Oh, I'm Johnny you? Schizo. Johnny Schizo. I know that cat. Who are you? I'm Frank Hatchet. Frank motherfucking Hatchet. Records. Shrunken Head Records. This motherfucker is awesome. It's on the whole lot tonight. Thank you, Mr. Mike Grimaldi. And today we have a live studio audience. We do. Do you guys want to hop in the scene and let everybody see that you're live? Or at least not dead? Yeah, Sometimes we read corpses up the wild. Yeah, so these are real, not dead bodies. This real, real life, yeah, not yes. dead people. Right. That's right. So tell us about your show tonight, man. That was fucking awesome. Well, hell, that shit was off the fucking chain, man. Sorry, I had to get my story. You're good, man. It was an amazing performance. I mean, it was an amazing experience. The second time I got to perform at the Bowery, I had fucking Johnny Schizo on stage. Goddamn, Mark Grimaldi got the film. We got to get a couple oh, oh. interviews in. Oh, God. Hopefully, Infamous End will roll in. What's up? You need Chase? No, I'm good. Okay. Well, uh, Infamous M should be rolling in soon with his brother J Dub, Criminal Masterminds. They sent the calls back. Either way, the show is fucking off the hook, man. Fucking pass out CDs. Sean needs Chase and he's asking permission. Yeah, you don't need Mountain fucking do. Yeah, you're a, studio, fuck you're, you're a studio audience. And uh, you roll, like, Yeah, you, you, you roll I'm gonna take a shot. Hey, give a round of applause to the studio audience. Woo! They are here because they love us and love you like That's real right. people. That's right. <laughs> love fans. They are not here because they are being compensated in any financial way. Yeah, we got the blood on us. They think they are getting compensated as well. <laughs> I, oh, did, I did a little dance earlier, but I don't think they were into it. <laughs> I stripped earlier waiting on this guy. Yeah, I was a little bit late. He was watching. He kept an eye out. I was seeing it from the distance. That was my cue. I was like, oh, there you go. I see nipples. It's time to get Oh, is that what I saw? Yeah, but you know, he this is it. nipple time on the Skits and Grimaldi show. This is what Tony <laughs> Sam, Johnny Skits, out of your best nipple pictures. He loves nipples. I, I, I think everybody does. They're very nurturing. Yes. All right, so I'm glad that we started this show. What's so, our first fucking topic? For, well, for, we're not going to have a topic. I think we should put your uh, put your music out there. I think we should listen to a song. Yeah, why don't you play okay. a song? All right, yeah. well, uh, we're, some we're fucking motherfucking that. Frank Hatchet. All you gotta do is just keep music, it up, boy. Fucking hand right records, there, man. Hell, yeah, well, I got a tell, tell us. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing about yeah. the show, you guys. <laughs> My brother, fucking Jason Dirt. <laughs> I got he couldn't fucking make it to the show tonight because fucking the Bowery had to reschedule our fucking uh, show a day before, and he already went and scheduled his shit off, and he couldn't make it. And a lot of Fuck people so. couldn't fucking make it because of that little fucking mishap. And, what's uh, bullshit? Earth Entertainment. We're about to have to start booking us at a nicer no, place, man. Go ahead and go. That shit was You're bullshit. But we had fun, though. No, you can't. You can't it was all the fucking hook. We had people there fucking... <laughs> we had motherfuckers there supporting us. It was off the fucking hook. Fucking love you guys. 865 shit, for real. For real? Uh, anyway, you Your can... Street team was working it, too, man. Oh, fuck yeah. All, yeah, they were. All two of them. Hell yeah. Love these guys. Hell yeah, we fucking sat up in there and was selling tickets for about an hour and we sold What about T-Bone? Isn't he one of them? Who? Tombstone? Tombstone. What I call yeah. him? T-Bone? Fucking T-Bone. My bad, Tombstone. Tombstone should be rolling back I mean, up I mean, with him from the same too. <laughs> What'd you say? What? <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be an outstanding episode. It really will. So, we're, okay, so what, what song are you going to play for us today? Yeah, guys? play the fucking song, dude. Yeah. Let's go. All right, while well, I'm looking for a song, fucking keep in mind, go to my new website, frankhatchetshr.reverbnation.com. 
Yeah, they gave me a free website. Or you can go to Frank, uh, fucking ReverbNation.com slash Frank Hatchet SHR. Check out ReverbNation.com slash IGOD SHR. Motherfucking check out ReverbNation.com slash Snuff Sawyer. It's my motherfucking dude. Don't forget oh, yeah. to subscribe. Subscribe. Now. Subscribe. Right here. Don't they do that? Yeah. <laughs> it's pivotal. There should be something right here below my hand. Every that day. says, please subscribe. Does it say that yet? It, we'll, we'll figure it out. I don't know if it says that or not, but it's supposed to. Right fucking here. Right motherfucking here. Yeah. We're, we're probably going to have our studio audience figure out how to make that work. Do you guys do IT? So. Yeah, IT. Whenever yes. I play the song, you want me to throw it in front of the camera or what? He's like, yes, I do yeah, tits. Yeah, he just grabbed the tits. No, IT, like tech support. We're uh, trying to figure out how to I'm gonna make sure. I'm going to be rude because somebody else is being rude. When we, when we do our thing, people see it. Like, subscribe. I've got yeah. a really good friend that's in All right. Uh, I mean, is that as loud as that gets? He's in. He gets loud when he starts talking. So he doesn't sound like he does for talking to you. Going to hell by Frank Hatchett. Hopefully we can hear it. Hey, if I hit one of those, does it count? I think so. Okay, okay. I'll smoke some That's a good song that I'm going to do. I'll smoke some I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. We walked up here to see this cat. That's the way he was showing me the artist thing, dude. I was walking and trying to make it. I walked to Seattle, dude. I got stuck at the front porch. I was like, fuck this. I had to swim to the mobile. I was going all the way to walk up. Yeah, I was going to be too. Well, I obviously had to bet you like six sheep just to fucking get up on this guy. I was like, oh, no. Just keep it. You didn't have any faith in it. You bet your sheep. Yeah, you did. You ever heard that shit? Why I I not I don't I I my question is, what did y'all think about the show? What did y'all, what, what y'all think about the show? I'm not biggest sketches, I don't hear the show that I say. I thought that Frank Hatchett performed talk about very well. Talk about first and then and then talk about it. His homie on stage didn't do too bad either. Uh, oh, man, I thought it was a good set. My boy fucking rock that shit. Uh, there's some other guys here that sounded pretty good. We did some interviews. Yeah. We're talking to them all. I think, I think it was a little bit short. I think it's for like, I don't know, it's a little bit short. I think it's for like, I don't know, it's a little bit short. Yeah, it was very unprofessional. Like I said, Earth Entertainment, you better be helping us out. You better be doing something better than that shit. I'm about tired of getting my tickets the day before the goddamn show, it's man. so dirty. <laughs> Look at this. You can almost see my face. Hey, I can see his decayed rotten face. I can't see my big paper off, please. You're supposed to get one of those little air cleaners for computers and get those magnets. If I had a straw, I could just fucking sip it. That is sip it good. Oh, shit. I don't like that was licking. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to say that right now as we film episode 10, it is winter. Mm -hmm. And it's a nice balmy 70 degrees. It is warmer here than it is in Texas. It's pretty fucking crazy. It is pretty fucking crazy. It's fucking December. It's, it's like, like what? Like a tramp chugging that fucking bottle. Yes, you is. You guys can't see that shit, but like a tramp. If they want to fucking get in on this bad action, it's fucking live the fuck over. Sit out straight. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sean trying to get undressed, man. That's my uh -oh. dude. That's my dude. <laughs> Somebody yeah. else is going to strip. Cat knows how to party. <laughs> I didn't even realize this motherfucker had a mask on. Hey, well, I had to step out and take a piss out the window and uh, put on the mask. Right. I had to piss out the window. That's, I wouldn't get them. I would not true. get them kicked out. That, We're that, at the the motherfucking legendary Super 8 motel, but we're not gonna tell you which one. We'll have to blindfold you and then fucking drive you here. That's that's. Some of these guys are in Colorado and Texas, man. That's a tall order. Are you gonna go pick them up? I think he's gonna go pick them up. No, but I tell you what I will do. <laughs> Whenever I'm in Colorado doing a show, we'll do my best to fucking reach out to you. I know Johnny Skits and motherfucking Mike and Ronnie will hit you guys up. If y'all are digging it, motherfucking come see us. Hell yeah. We'll be in your town really fucking soon. We'll be in Colorado. We'll be in Wisconsin. We'll be in West Virginia. We'll be in Georgia. We'll be in Florida. Fuck it, Nashville yeah. too. We gotta go to Nashville soon. We have another interview we're lining up for Nashville. Yeah. Alright, looks like Nashville's probably gonna be one of the next ones. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're gonna go see a clown up there and do an interview. That sounds sick. Uh, pretty, you guys are scared. Man. We're headed to New Orleans, hopefully. I'll have to go back there and check it out. Hell, hell, we'll even go to Birmingham or Montgomery or somewhere. We, I think we, when we go to New Orleans, we all need to go to the Titty Bar. Okay. I, th I think that would be a good place to film you interacting with the citizen. Hey, that this, sounds like a plan, Mr. Mr. Schizo. I think they would like that. Would you guys like that? Send us in your fucking questions, Mike. See how many tips I can get the strippers to give me? <laughs> Alright, if you think we need to take <coughs> Mr. Johnny Schizo to a strip club in New Orleans, I just need you to send me, just, you can handwrite it or type it, you know, just like a simple yes, we're doing an internet vote. You need to submit this, you need to get like an envelope that's uh, stamped with our address and we can give you that, and just write yes on a hundred dollar bill, and put it in that envelope and send it, and if we get enough of those, we will take those hundred dollar bills and we will invest them in human people, one dollar at a time. To make the community stronger, but Mr. Schizo will get to go to the strip club. What do y'all think about Are that? You just chewing on my head. <laughs> I mean, I just licked your ear, but see how he did that? I did it without getting up too. That's why the women while liked he me. was talking. <laughs> Who wants to hear a joke? I, got a I joke. do. You probably don't want to hear it, but I got one. Oh, is it hurtful? <laughs> Check out my fleshy ass mask and shit. Hey, you want to hear a joke? I like jokes. Obama. Uh, <laughs> looks like we're going to get sniped. Snuck. God, I hate it when we get sniped. I know. Right, I've got time to lose my fucking brain. What's your joke? I don't remember. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay, okay. I remember my joke. All right. right. So this uh, this guy walks into a bar. There's a really... Huh? I'm sorry. Okay. I'll think of a different joke. Okay. You, know, you know what you never hear me before we continue the jokes? The joke that starts in midget hey, uh, the bar. Go to ReverbNation.com slash prank catch an SHR and download Hellraiser of Hip Hop for free. Has been checked. Oh wait, did I say a name on national TV? Live? In front of ISIS? Intergalactic. Intergalactic? That's what I said. Uh, he fucking so uh, I, 
Tights and tasty morsels, right? Yeah, somebody put it in the middle. Who the wolf that box? They must have got that many galactic over here. We don't need that box, man. Well, Jim, I was trying to promote my shit like y'all told me to. She said fucking <laughs> yoinks. Yoinks. And tried, <laughs> tried to shove the whole bourbon bottle just. She said, hey, huh? What well, if she tried us to shove the bourbon bottle? Well, she got him on the bottom of his nuts. She went too low, but that's mm, good. I mean, no, man, that's enough. <laughs> Fucking, uh, without fucking touch my goddamn sphincter, it's really good. We're moving on. Two new beginnings. Moving on. Two new beginnings and touch the sphincter. Hey, I don't want to talk about this picture of you anymore. I got one more thing to say. Before I forget, fucking Jason Dirt, I got Shrunken Head Records. He couldn't make it, but he wanted me to tell you to go on ReverbNation.com slash I got SHR and download Genesis for $8. I have, I have another I just got all up to the camera when you were talking food to That's a very important message. This man here in our studio audience has had his hand up patiently for minutes. He says he has a joke, and we're going to let him tell the joke. Would you guys like to hear the joke? You want to come tell me the joke and I'll tell it? Please write your yes answers on $100 bills. Dollar bills. It's in the middle. It's a. They will buy new studio equipment. Like, not, not new set of jokes. It's like. Well, you should tell it then. Yeah. Because I don't. I'm nervous. Being nervous. If I get that, I'm kind of nervous. I got to knock out these other four rooms. You got to start it. Knock, knock. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the Fuller Brush Company, and I would like to introduce you to our new line of brushes. These are clown brushes. Hold on one second. I'm dresses. Yes, sir. What can I help you with? <laughs> These brushes are perfect. Oh, really, man? Nasty, I love brushes. You're nasty. <laughs> what was that I today? Love what was that today? We're at the venue. There's music playing, and like Johnny's just sitting there, and he's got his hand, and he's pumping to a beat. Next thing you know, it looks like he's slamming his hands. Because I was, I was making fun looks, of the guy. You look down, and you're like, whoa, what am I doing? They were being, they were being. Jerk off, so I was kind of like, Yeah, I like nice. those guys rapping about crack and their, their parents, probably. Cracking their parents, probably never. Did. I'm think, going to take this off for a minute. Without further ado, we're going to get to some porno, right? No, just kidding. I think this is going to end badly. Have you ever have a clown fatality? <laughs> get over here. We're missing something. <laughs> Y'all see Johnny Skitzer? There you go. He's bad. He's bad about running down to the dumpster and looking for spare parts. Hey, we need that to build that goddamn the type of ship he's talking about. For uh, the no. Spaceship? Idea. Spaceship? That's what I was talking about. Wrecked him, damn near killed him. Wrecked him. Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. Hell, damn near killed him. Hell far. No far. You don't even need the joke. Just that punchline is phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, pee, pee up to the center line and put it in the window. <laughs> you, were, yeah. you were holding it like a specimen cup. Holy shit, that's what it looks like. Chaser cup. Yeah, there's more over there. Hey, we are witnessing someone pee out our window right now. It is amazing. Uh, and how she's not getting it on the curtain. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> what? What? No. <laughs> You said somebody's peeing out the curtains? Maybe, the curtains. but... That's what I heard. No, I mean, somebody could roll me a cigarette, but it couldn't be nothing worse than that, but no. <laughs> roll tight. Hey. Roll tight. Roll tight? I can roll tight. No, because it's too tight in the air to blow through on it. It's... Yeah, that's true. Was that my phone or your phone? It was, um, yes. It was great. Imagine. Ah! Oh! Oh! So who is excited about the upcoming Deadpool movie in February? I am. Me too. Our studio audience, you have any interest in the Deadpool movie? Any? Do you give any fucks or is it zero fucks? Did you see that? What? Oh, that's the fuck I forgot to give. Oh, look at that. Huh? We got jokes. Oh, the fucks you forgot to give. That was fucking good. Thanks, Connor. That broke. That was no, good. No, no, no. 
It's like, because we're in a hotel, you know, so it could be any kind of shit people looking for. I've traveled this great country, let me tell you something. The shit you find in hotels. Man, I have found some shit in hotels. Yeah. Literally, fucking turn. <laughs> In the fucking back. It's called an upper decker, man. People yeah. get pissed off and they poop in the back of the toilet. It's so fucked up. Oh, we appreciate it. I found a hundred dollar bill in a bottle one time. Well, I didn't know him did, but I was there. Does that count? I was yeah. there when he found it. He bought yeah. me fucking dinner. That's a pretty cool story. He just gave it there, got the bottle, started to shake. I don't know what the fuck. Are we about to do a candy endorsement on the show? Endorsement? We can't oh. endorse the candy. Oh, we, we don't endorse. You can't say shit yet. Guess what we got to be a part of? All the fucking donations and proceeds to the show were donated to charity for Christmas. Santa Claus, South Knox, Oh, really? Fuck y'all. Yeah, I got a cigar in my hand and I, I got a cup, man. And Last time I clapped and cup. She's got a Kit Kat in her hand and Sean's got a thumb in his hand. He's oh. acting thing. Oh, right? He's got his dick in his hand. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Our homeboys sitting around with their fucking dicks in their hand while we that, That's shows. how low budget we are. We can't even afford a fluffer, so they got to do it themselves. Yeah, yeah we we we'll be getting, we got hand jobs on deck, but you got to do it yourself. Yeah. So, <laughs> give your own hand job. Just uh, go outside. We ain't even starting with jerking. <laughs> I don't want your hand on my dick. <laughs> you could stand on the ledge and do it. If there's not really a ledge, you would fall. And That'd be weird. There's... What's up there? Excuse me, Mike. Jerry, you know what I'm saying? Oh, here's a screen. All right, Johnny Skitzo, I've got a question for you. Uh, what is your favorite underground act of all time? And I'll be doing my other than the other my favorite underground act of all time. Like, all right, fuck it. Ever and ever. Fuck it. Do your top three. Make it easier. I'll do my top three. I'll do your top. Three. So basically, you're asking who are my favorite artists of all time. Your top three. My top three favorite artists. Yes, sir. Do they have to be underground. Number no. one. Your top three favorite artists. Your. Okay. Okay. Wow. Well, no, that that just changes the whole game. Because there was some shit back in the day, man. That just if it didn't exist, dude, nothing would fucking exist. Let's hear it. Fucking, Let's hear about it. What, what is it? What do you got? The fucking dude. I think my number one favorite band of all time is going to die out of the way is the Tommy Twisted. Almost no doubt Twisted is my number one favorite group of all time. Twisted is the shit. Uh, number two. Number two. Number the fucking adults. Beatles. The Beatles. Oh, yeah. Charles Manson and the house. But see, the thing is, that the way I feel about it is the Beatles are also number one on my list. They're number one on my rock list. To where rap and shit, Twisted is number one. But you can't compare the two. You know? You really okay. can't compare the two. So those are both like my number one. They're just different genres of music. Yeah. Alright. Alright, number three. That's why, that's why it matters. Like, we want to be speaking a certain genre, I can't. But I have number ones in each genre. You just name it off the genres, huh? Number one metal band of all time. What's That's that? a fucking tough one. Let's do but, it. But, uh... Me, Metallica. I got my respect for some old Metallica. That's what we'll do. We'll do our favorite hip-hop acts, our favorite other acts, and our favorite metal acts. What? Uh, Favorite three. Okay. Favorite really metal. Right. So tough, man. That's like the hardest fucking one. Because there's like... Fuck. Uh, mushroom head. There's... Fucking... I think I mushroom know head might be three. my favorite fucking metal band. Of all time. Alright, Mushroom Head? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My favorite new metal band is Kissing Fucking Candace. Kissing Candace is the shit. They're fucking... Very dope as fuck. Hell of a show. Wow. Trilogy's where it's at too, though, man. Trilogy's fucking awesome. He's good. He reminds me kind of like, I don't know. He's a cool good guy to talk to. Good mood, good mood, smoke out route. Yeah. Know? Fucking. He's just good people Cotton to talk to. Cottonmouth Kings-esque maybe, but not there. It's hyper. Right. My top right three, on. my number, let's see. My top hip-hop. Number one, 
it's hard to choose between Mr. Hot and Butcher's Harem. I'm probably gonna go with Mr. Hot. And uh, my favorite fucking metal band is Otep. That bitch is the shit. I love that bitch, dude. I love her. And uh, let's see. My top three other band. That's my fucking favorite. It'd have to be Dresden Dolls. Dresden Dolls, man. You like them? Point operated. You like boy, that too? The shit, man. Cool. All right. All right. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, my top three all time. Let's see. I'm a big fan of um, anything Vivaldi did. Vivaldi's music is awesome. But he's not modern, but still awesome. Um, Gogo Bordello, Ukrainian Gypsy Punk, look it up, fucking awesome. Ukrainian Gypsy Punk. That sounds sick. It is. It's fucking, their shows, man, are awesome. It's like every person in the fucking house is in a mosh pit. Even the guy in the wheelchair. He's just up in the foot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they take him out of the wheelchair. I've seen that. Yeah, they just take him out of the wheelchair. And who else is really good? I just had him, but I lost him. I mean, not like they're in the room hiding. Frank Hatchet, that is it. Motherfucking Frank Hatchet. My other, my other number one favorite. This man's got it. Thanks, brother. It is. It is his right here. Yeah. No dizzy. And he lets dudes Deezy, like us. Up too. Invites, invites dudes like us to the show. Lots all of day. Us interview him and, and just reap the, the reward of all of his hard effort. Fucking awesome. You're the man. You're the man, Mike. Fucking. At dinner with this motherfucker. motherfuckers made it. Covered in blood. What did we eat? And while I was covered in blood, what did we eat? Eggs. What? Eggs. <laughs> we ate motherfucking Waffle House at 10 p.m. like geez, like always. That's what you do when you tour. You eat at Waffle House. That's man. right. You stop at other diners. It's 10 p.m. I thought it was 11 p.m. It could have been anything. And I have a, a, I have a, a, a question for our studio audience here. My favorite part. Favorite part when we ask studio audience questions? Me too. It gets me excited. Studio audience, we have a question for you. You're our favorites. You are. You're our favorite. You're, we love our studio. The studio audience. This we is have also back our down. fucking street team right here. It's all awesome. two of them. All street two team. Of them. We're the rest of the street team. All right. <clears throat> like I said, Brian Devil couldn't make it this time. He had. He's going through some shit. On top of that, his car's fucked up. But shout Fuck out to him car. too, man. Fuck his car. Fuck man. his car. I had my transmission guy not too long ago. It's a Fuck it right in the tailpipe. It's the, uh, yeah. Right in the tailpipe. Grab by the car hips. Grab by the car hips. <laughs> so I forgot my question for the for our studio audience. Ain't that about him? I was going to ask them to do something entertaining. Like juggle or some shit. I don't know what they're going to juggle. You're probably going to juggle. Yeah, you can juggle. That'd be I don't awesome. Know. Yeah, it's pretty. Can, do you know how to juggle? Like Someone might like get hurt. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, the only thing around us is like heavy shit. Juggle some heavy shit. Juggle the TV, the bed, and this chair. And the chair. With him sitting in that chair. With <laughs> him sitting in the chair. Hell, I got a chainsaw. I would like to. I would like to ask Mr. Hatchet if you noticed that when some of those dudes that were up there rapping, you know, the more um. Mainstream. I would say I would say they were striving for mainstream. Did you notice the, um, the pants were a little saggy, a little bit? You know, not not like pulled down to where we can see your boxers, but their pants were pulled down a little bit. And then I also noticed when Johnny Schizo walked into the room and they realized there was a big fucking scary clown in there with meat cleavers, their pants got a little saggier. And I'm thinking maybe they were dropping loads in their pants. What do you think? Do you think those guys were like hardcore? Or do you well, think maybe they had a little voodoo going on? Well, you see, that's actually a good question. There was quite a few people, obviously, were fucking looking wicked tonight. I wasn't even wearing a fucking mask. There was a few people that shit their drawers, male and female, black and white. Fucking... It didn't make a fuck, fuck man. Fuck. We scared I'll the fuck me. out of these people, man. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you. Nobody fucking called anyway. Fuck you, motherfucker. Nobody I mean, fucking em here. Nobody embraces the he fucking wicked shit things. here in Knoxville. We're he trying to change that, that shit. Trying to change it. Hey man, share the blow. Did you spill all my cocaine? Wall to wall. 
Every bit of it. Damn. All the toilet and the trash can was just. Hey, hey, did y'all hear about stitches? I thought that was. He got guys. stitches, didn't he? He got stitches. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Should we send him a card? Okay, well, card. We just do an autographed baseball. Yeah. It'd be pissed. What his face looks like. <laughs> I hope your stitches are healing well. You gotta draw a face. <laughs> draw a face on the softball. Oh, it's other stitches. That's right. They're lining up well. Yeah, I bet they are. Oh, man, he's man, I have he's to get out of here. I can't drink, drink on camera. That's it, Paul. You're no man. Look this good. It's my face off that motherfucker. Where'd Johnny go? Yeah. He keeps evaporating and re- I'm sweating to death, you motherfuckers. Camera action. I'm sweating to death, and I'm drinking. They're you sweating know? to fucking death, And this too. guy over here is trying to get me drunk. He's a studio audience. Speaking of studio audience, face, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Somebody's going to hate me for this one. <laughs> Some people. You're not going to do that thing again, are you, where you get us kicked out of the state? Yeah, he got kicked out of Germany for, uh... <laughs> Man, that's foul. <laughs> how you going? How you going to pull that shit out for everybody to see? Hello. That's like having a barnacle and showing it off. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> green. Where's your barnacle? Barnacle. <laughs> He's like freeze frame. Oh wait, they don't get that. <laughs> you should get that. I get that. They're all like, what are you talking about? Free frame! Close! It's about what it sounded like. Right. Free frame! Did you get hit with a baseball bat because your nose is kind of... Not that I'm not going to be hit with a baseball bat. I mean, I don't want to do it. This one over here in our yeah. studio... Did you see that? He just stuck his finger in his fucking eye to fix his nose. Said she That's likes some gangster ass shit. Bat. He's pretty gangster ass. Yeah. yeah. My you, fingers you, all wet. You so know he's going to take it in my eyeball. See? Yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody's all wet to my eyeball. It's pretty. Look, he feels like that. Oh, he pulled my finger. He just got his finger in there. Now smell that dead clown fart. Hey, uh, I'm not sure if y'all give a damn or not, but uh, me and Razzico just did a new song. Whenever it's done and produced and stuff like that, we'll release it and hope y'all fucking cats like it. He said, oh, I hope you cunts. Oh, by the way, way, I got a he CD. Said cats. Oh, that too. Can you believe? <laughs> Dude, can you believe I forgot to tell him about my new CD? Well, what? anyway, I forgot to what tell y'all. I forgot to tell y'all. My new CD coming out. Did 2000, you ask me? 2016. Not even paying attention to that. 2016. <laughs> my CD drops is called The Sacred Art of Death. <laughs> a Frank Hatchet, Shrunken Head Records. It's coming 2016. Art of Death. Do you have a Chapter 2 to the Hellraiser if you thought? Ah. Do you have a projected month for the release? No, not yet. And then, which, where, where are people going to be able to get it? You, you know You'll be able to download it? half of it for free at ReverbNation.com, but if you want a copy, you will have to hit me up and I will mail it to you. Hit this ninja up. This ninja? Don't hit him down, hit him up. You better hit me up like fucking Mortal Kombat. Like, I was going to say, like, Ryu. Or I'll have to put your ass on ice like Sub Zero. Pick the cookie. I'll steer your soul like Shane Sue. I always liked Chun Li because she bounced off the walls. I just thought that was cool. How's a fat kid? I don't know. the pretty kid? What? Have you ever seen that shit? I don't think so. Street Fighter Red Tape? No. That shit's so funny. I don't get out a lot, though. You know, you guys don't let me out of my cage. What? Oh, I'll kind of drink this. So what what does our studio audience think of being a studio audience? I know there's a lot of burping over here. That's the camera guys on the side. Yeah, we That's don't have clapping this time from the audience. studio audience. We have burping. Yes. He's been getting drunk. Yes. He just caught a fly. He just caught a fucking fly like Bruce motherfucking Lee. <laughs> I was going to say like Daniel LaRusso. That one too. He caught a fly like motherfucking Mike Grimaldi does. I can catch some flies. Okay, so what did y'all think about being part of our studio audience? Is it good? Flies. Give yourself a hand. Fantastic. Fantastic. Best experience ever. Best experience ever. Now let me, let me tell you something. The swag bag these guys walk away with being on the show, 
I mean, there's usually a pretzel or two and whatever else we find in the floorboards of the hearse when we're cruising across the country. So, I mean, you know. Oh, what's your breath? These I guys ate that pretzel last night. <laughs> if you didn't eat that pretzel and you don't want it back. <laughs> well, shit, man. I, I think uh, I think we've saturated the uh, most of the fat. Yeah, most most of the facts that we wanted to get today about our our, our brother here. My motherfucking brothers from Birmingham. Damn. Shouts out. To yeah. Everybody me, me, keeping it wicked in the south, man. Something else. One more thing, and then I'll just shut the fuck up because I ramble. I ramble on. This too. motherfucker ramble right here. Frank Hatchet. Frank Hatchet. Um, let us know where you want to see this motherfucker, because we are trying to get some folks together and maybe take the skits on Grimaldi show on the road. That's exactly maybe try right. to do something. We're thinking about doing a, a GoFundMe or something to pass the hat, the proverbial hat. That's exactly right. You know damn well we'll make it motherfucking happen. There's three of us. Hit us the fuck up. If you know my street team, hit them up. If you know yeah. their street team, hit them up. If you know fucking infamous, their moms hit right, them if up. If you know infamous him, just hit up him because if you know my grandma hit yeah. her up, plagiarism. If you know my grandma hit her up, if you know my mom oh. have her call me, I ain't seen her in a long time. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you know my mom, you can just kick her in the cunt. It's all right. You can give her a cowboy ninja turtle cunt punch. Yes, sir. <laughs> Damn, that would fuck her like a bitch. <laughs> Or, or if you're a place I'm talking about Raphael, fuck by Galangelo. Raphael's the one with the attitude. Oh, he's, yeah, the one he's the one that's got the hatred and anger. Yeah. The rage! And the bigger fist. The rage! Yeah, and the bigger fist, brother man. And he wears red. He's screaming out. He oh, wears boy. red. He wears red. Yeah, dude, black and red's the shit. Black and red. Green yeah. and red. The color of... He's Christmassy. <laughs> he is very Christmassy. He is not very, very chipper. Chipper Jones? Oh Was yeah, baseball but if you want to see this motherfucker in your town doing some live music, yeah, we 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 may we may next no, year sometime after music. that after that CD drops, you know he's gonna want to come visit some folks and let us know what you think about the performance. Next time, do you want to see him with a mic? You what want you him? Know? Huh? What? what was he about to say? Do you want to see Johnny Schizo with the mic next time? Let them know. Let them know if you want to see them fucking backing me up. If you want to hear them make music. Get these motherfuckers feedback on what's what, on what's popping, man. What we got going on. Let us know the feedback. We want to know what y'all thinking about it, good or bad. Let us know. That's it. How can we be better? We do this for you guys. Y'all motherfuckers are the shit. Matter of fact, Intergalactic over here. She was like, "I'm so proud of your sim shit." And I was like, "Fuck, we wouldn't be nothing without you guys." Obviously. Check me out, Mike Grimaldi on Facebook. www.facebook.com slash Mark Grimaldi. Frank Hatchet, that's with two, two T's. Two T's at the end. Technically, Tell there's three T's. Tell him what you said the other day about him. Frank Ratchet. No. no. He was making fun of you. Oh, no, I'm not making No, man, I'm just saying. You, you, you <laughs> family, not, what was that? Your, your family must have been down forever for you to be like Hatchet by family. That's like, that's like some mad shit. That would be like having the family name like Juggalo. Oh, do you not know my last name? Well, you're, you're Frank Hatchet. I was going to say because I, like, I know your last name. And I heard it because he said it out loud. Tell yeah, you what. He said it out loud. We were at the post office. He now. knows my last name. It starts with the same letter that Clint starts with. <laughs> and we think cunt is a very multifaceted word. It doesn't get used enough because, you know, it's a pretty bad word. But, you know, some places it's fitting. It really I'll give is. you a hint. My great uncle, uh, he was a. Uh, is he a cunt? I can give him a hint. He probably was, was a cunt. He was a, well, mafia, he was a mafia dawn leader in Chicago. He, he was actually against Al Capone. He was one of them guys. But apparently, uh, whenever we moved down south, my uh, my great grandfather Steve named his son after him before he found out he was going to turn out to be a big cunt. So anyway, we had to get the spelling of our last name changed for protection purposes. If you know my last name, cool. I don't know your last name. Hatchet, two T's. 
two my motherfucking two T's. T's at the end. Like I T said, T's. technically there's three T's. Oh, and Hatchet is a real last name. It's my last name. That's right. Right, right. Preach on it, bro. It's my spell book. You that. guys, man, you're drinking That's all right. the juice. I don't know, you're drinking all the, all the, Ooh. all the Jesus juice. All the juice. 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 All the juice. juice. <laughs> Why don't we hit that Jesus juice? Well, if that doesn't wrap it up, then I don't know what does. John okay. Schizo, Michael Grimaldi, take it off. They're trying to kill me. Schizo and Grimaldi on YouTube. Of course, you know that because you're here. Tell your friends. It's like friends don't if you're watching our from. fucking show, like and subscribe, please. Why are you watching our fucking subscribe. show? Their show. Their show. This is, is their show. This is your show today. Y'all saw it. Your show too, brother, today. Okay, well, it's my show it's today. today. But my show was only 15 minutes on. 15, hell, we've been on this bitch 40 minutes. Hey, well, that adds up. Oh, wow. That makes about a whole hour. <laughs> 20 our, minutes shot. Our stuff, though. Our stuff. Plus, my 15 minutes. Oh, and, yeah. And the interview. We got an hour. Wow. Hell, no, yeah, we got wow. an hour. You Friday. know what that means, bro? That means we'll be releasing a DVD here soon. <laughs> and my brothers. All, all the porno outtakes that you didn't get to see live here. Produced by Sean and Intergalactic. They've been doing it on the table. That's why they're not getting in on it. But that's why they're burping because. Doing it on the table. Like a bunch of monkeys. It's like, it's like weeping. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh -uh. So, so fucking check us out. Yeah. Fucking have sex. Listen to our music. Check out their fucking web show. Fucking subscribe to fucking Skip Some and Grimaldi. Yes. Fucking check out Mike Grimaldi over here on his uh, Seven feet tall. face booty. Damn, well, this motherfucker's tall. And uh, I, I, I'm a little intimidated. Check out uh, I don't mean to be. Hell yeah, me and you get to walk He's around so the tower. It ain't nobody fucking with us. I'm looking all wicked and on top of that. We got this big I'm Johnny Skipso. I'm Mike Grimaldi. We're getting the motherfuck out of this biatch. Frank Hatchet, Shrunken Head Records. Yeah. And we quit talking and we fucking get the fuck out of here. But the thing is, is ain't nobody near that yeah, motherfucking do camera. Do us all a favor so. and fuck yourself. We'll see y'all next time. Woo! 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 Woo!